going on, Timmer? It is beer o'clock. It is the three beer pod. Welcome to it. Episode nine, season two. Let's get on, Mr. Regan. Cloudy, how's it going, buddy? Not too bad, dude. Not too bad. Uh, let me start off by uh, talking about my new positioning because I feel like those in the pod who have been following on the video version have been following the renovations. I am broadcasting from my kitchen counter that is three hours old. So nice. Yeah, this is this is the wall that wasn't a wall here about two months ago. Um, I don't know if this I can. Amazing. Start. So <laughs> let's let's leave it there at that. Okay, let's. Leave oh, it at that. I saw some pictures today, buddy. She looks oh, you good. Saw, there were pictures. pictures. Oh yeah, the interwebs got anything. You just Google stuff like Chris oh, Cloud's boy. kitchen. You can <laughs> find it. There's stuff all over the internet on Chris Cloud's kitchen. This Chris is the renovation Cloud. that started in February. That uh, we now have countertops, and within within forty eight hours, I will have running water back in my my kitchen again. So that's great timing, and uh, I'm glad everything's come together for you. But I didn't see it. Uh, I didn't see it happening. I didn't see it <laughs> happening at all. But it uh, nope. looks good from the pics I saw. It's good stuff, buddy. I'll have to. Uh, we'll have to have a, a little social distancing gathering at uh, yeah, at some I'll point. Come check it out. Let's uh, thank our sponsors here right off the top on episode number nine of the Three Beer Pod. Thank you to Doug Robbins. And with this ring, Doug is an officiant, and he can help you out if you've got a wedding ceremony, if you're looking for somebody. Unboring events. And you know you know Doug. I know Doug. He's a good guy, and he certainly will. Great dude. Great dude. He's got these new things, Timmer. So in this day and age where we can't uh, gather like we have previously, they're like little, I think he's calling it mini-monies, like a little mini-ceremony. Yeah. So that... If you know you can't get everybody together and maybe it's a quicker service, right. talk to Doug. Talk to Doug and tell him the three beer pod sent you. Yeah, Thanks to Doug Robinson awesome. with this ring. Hey, big thank you to uh, Shauna Regan over at the Health House. Let me uh, add a little prop here because oh, Shauna buddy. certainly helped me out here. I'm going to pull this off here. Shauna. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I can't do it here. Oh, look at that. Look, look at, that. at that. That's a good fit. Yeah, yeah. Shauna hooked me up with this, and on the package it says fashion mask. Yeah, look at that. That's a beauty, buddy. What do you think? It's fashion. Good. Oh, it's very fashionable. I thought right there. You crushed it. Everything's good. You look right. good today. Be on you the board. Wear that? Yeah, I think you're safe. I'm going to lose that right now. I'll lose that. Oh, so yeah. thanks to Shauna over at the health house and, and Chris McLeod. Are you looking to buy or sell a house anytime? Call Chris McLeod from Realty House, and uh, if uh, you sell this week, this week only, one case of beer. Oh, I, We're I, there, bud. I was on a showing this afternoon, so and I was I was called on that. Somebody said, "Where are you?" Yeah, I hear that uh, you buy uh, you buy your uh, clients' a case of beer, and I'm like, it's "Sure working, do, buddy. I sure do." You working? If you're looking to advertise on the Three Beer Podcast, it obviously works. That's right. right. In the real That's estate right. For sure. Check out behind Timmer there. There's another one of our sponsors, Planet oh, Print. Always went the wrong way again. Planetprint.ca. They do a great job. They've, they've done that. So we've got some things coming with Planet Print here real soon. And Tim, you're wearing that T-shirt there. Uh, right. Some merch. Yep. I've had right. some people ask about that. We're talking koozies. We've got a whole merch line. Oh, whole buddy. It's merch coming. Line. It's coming down the pipe. It's all good. Uh, Timber, before we get to our guest, I want to say a quick <laughs> thank you to Bridget Carlton from the WNBA's Minnesota Lynx who we talked to last week from the bubble down in Florida. Yeah. Um, they went out. Did they win both games last week? No, they lost, buddy. The one and one, yeah. weren't they? Yeah, one and one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I I predicted on the show, maybe put a little too much pressure on Bridge to go out and score 30 and then do the moose antlers down the down the court afterwards. Uh, no, didn't happen. They won that game, though. They did. They didn't drop 30. I think she had nine rebounds that game, though. Solid. Yeah. Solid outing. That was Both. good. The three beer push. So we'll take credit for that. And then our bonus episode. Thanks to everybody who tuned in on Thursday. We dropped a surprise episode. Clear Lake uh, from uh, from up in Torrance, Ontario, and Muskoka Beer Spa, which we are definitely going to have to visit at some yeah. point. We uh, we got a tentative date book, don't we? Yeah. Did we book it, or did we just say we we're going to book it? Well, I thought you booked it. We'll talk to our secretary. We should. <laughs> secretary and treasurer. <laughs> we'll talk to him. Talk to them. All right. Hey, let's get to this, Timmer. Episode nine, our guest from Trestle Brewing Company in Perry Sound, Ontario. Let's pull in Matt Small, who is with us right now from Perry Sound. Good evening, Matt. How you doing, buddy? Good, guys. How are you guys doing? Thanks for having me. Very good. We're doing great today. 
We're going to do some what you drinking, bud, with this, uh, Cloudy? You know what, Matt? Uh, yeah, I always mess this up. But before before we really get rolling here, you can jump in on this too, Matt. We do what you drinking, bud? It's what we're drinking tonight on the pod. So, Timmer, you start. You seem to have uh, a good stockpile there. I, I seem to have beer on my mind. Uh, so I got a couple. I got three here from Trestle, but I'm going to do a substitution. I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, so I ordered some online uh, a few weeks ago from Trestle, and I've got the 30,000 Islands uh, IPA. Uh, and it says it's neither a West or East Coast IPA, so I'm excited to hear a little bit more about that and crack into that one in a second. And I also have uh, a South Channel uh, Hazy IPA, um, and uh, it says fruity, juicy, and loaded with hops, yet easy drinking. So that's right up my alley, so I'm excited for that one. And then I, I've got this one as my third beer, but I'm going to ta- sub out on this one. Uh, this is called the Firewood uh, Firewood Bourbon Barrel Aged Imperial Stout. Uh, it's a 10.5-er, uh, so I think I might put this in the cellar. This one's probably not a Tuesday night summertime drinking one, but uh, definitely looking forward to trying that one. So I'm going to sub that one out, and my third beer tonight is actually going to be from Collingwood uh, Brewery. Uh, it's a freestyle hazy session ale, so I'm excited to try these trestle beers for sure. That probably is one of the last bottles that firewood. It's uh, really, oh yeah. So I should save it for a uh, special sure. occasion here, Ooh. not just crushing it on a Tuesday night. I'll put it back in the uh, cellar and I'll yeah, save maybe, that for a nice night. Maybe try to sell it in a few years, see what it goes. <laughs> Ooh, that might uh, start making some money on beer <laughs> sales. Food like sales. What do you got, Cloudy? Uh, you got a couple of the same there, right? Eh? Yeah, and you know what? Let's let's be honest because I was called out on uh, with one of my clients about buying them a case of beer, and also the fact that I never actually drink three beers in the three beer pot. I only get two, so I am I'm just going to drink the two. And Timmer, I've I've got the uh, there we go. I got the two you yeah, have from Trestle. Yeah, uh, very good. So if if we get to three, that's going to be a monument okay, monumental occasion on the three beer pod. But I don't see that happening. If Matt, you get to three, you got your new beer fridge in your kitchen. So Body. we're going to spin around. We're going to do a whole tour. Like Yes, uh, we are. I love it. That's good. Point. All right, let's yeah. get to Matt. Matt. Matt, what are you drinking? Are you got anything poured there? Yeah, I'm realizing that probably uh, part of the name is that I'm supposed to be drinking a beer too, but I got to close the restaurant tonight. So I'm just having a little H2O, a little nice. water. But... Stay hydrated, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Stay hydrated. Well, it's really cool. Thanks, Matt, for joining us. Um, let's, let's first of all start. Trestle Brewery, where are you located and how long have you been there? Yeah, so we're in Perry Sound. We're uh, we're on uh, Seguin River um, under a big trestle bridge, um, hence the name. Um, downtown Perry Sound, we're about five minutes from Highway 400, about an hour from Barry, hour and a half from Sudbury. Uh, we've been here. We opened the, the, the brewery in July of 2018, so it's been uh, uh, two years and a couple months. Um, the guys were contract brewing a golden ale down in Toronto beforehand, so They've been producing and selling beer for a little bit longer than that, but give or take just over two years we've been here. It, it's a beautiful spot you've got there too. Um, and, and the location you have in Perry Sound. Um, first of all, have you been there since the beginning? Were you there when, when this all started or did you come on later? Yeah, yeah. So, I I mean, I got hired uh, two days into, into that opening. So, oh, nice. so I, I wasn't there for the first two days. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, that location, though, that that's mint. Like, that's one of the most beautiful spots in Oliveri Sound. And then, of course, Trestle named after the bridge, which is right at your back door. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's, like, our pride and joy, right? Like, that's the selling feature is, is, uh, is the location. It's, uh, it's the view. It's the bridge. It's the uh, bridge. Um, yeah, that's that's why we named ourselves after after such a beautiful old rusty bridge. That's fine. I was telling Tim, and I was just saying to you, Matt, before we went on, is that uh, I've had Trestle before, and not putting two and two together, I didn't I didn't realize it was from uh, Perry Sound. But we had episode nine, mm-hmm. season one was Ron McLean from Hockey Night in Canada. And mm-hmm. and you know Ron, like everybody in Canada knows Ron, and he's just dropping names like, yeah, Bobby, you're up Perry Sound. He's got that Trestle mm-hmm. brewery, blah blah. And and as he said it, I remember going. I've had one of those. That's so cool. <laughs> and within a couple of weeks, Timmer, I was heading up to uh, yeah. cottage past, past Prairie Sound. We stopped for, for groceries and the girls go in and get the food. My son and I, we, we do a tour around Perry Sound and we, we found Trestle Brewery. We end up going in. I had my daughter at this time. So we went in and uh, I'm not sure who it was at the counter. I said, do you mind if I grab a business card? Do you, why, why would you need a business card? And I said, oh, we do this little podcast. 
Ron McLean was on the show. Ron McLean. <laughs> so my daughter is goes, in Perry Sound. That's, that's what my great. daughter's goes. Oh, great! You're a big deal in Perry Sound now. Great. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, we had uh, like like Bobby Orr being from Perry Sound. He has his charity golf tournament every year, and uh, I was fortunate to to meet Ron at uh, at the tournament. And yeah, just uh, you know, down to earth, nice guy. Comes up to the tent that I'm sampling beer at, and he, he says, "Hi, hi, nice to meet you. I'm Ron." that's the amazing thing about ron mcclain though like he treats you like you're just an everyday like your, your buddies when we had him on he was he was great i'm looking at the picture here online of the yeah. the view of, of the bridge this, this looks like a, a beautiful spot to go in the summertime how have things been with you guys uh during covid uh ha have you had the same you know tourists coming out and checking this out um, yeah, yeah. During this time, because it looks like a beautiful spot to be. Yeah, I mean, towards the beginning of of the lockdowns, I mean, it was still probably March. Really, we see a big upswing in, in tourism in the uh, in the area sometime around late May, right? May long weekend really marks the the point where we get really busy. Um, so, so the lockdown at first, March and April, were certainly tough. Um, but uh, once we we got the notice that we could open up the restaurant again. And things started to become a little easier. Obviously, there were still restrictions, uh, but we've been fortunate that we expanded at the right time, and we've got uh, large outdoor seating, and we're still uh, just seating everybody inside who wants to come into the tap room. Um, so it's it's been good since. Um, but yeah, certainly certainly the couple months that we were closed was were tough. Can you confirm or deny the story? Because when I was standing in line waiting to get into Trestle, somebody had said that across the street, there's a connection to Bobby Orr. Is is that yeah. true? Yeah, yeah. So uh, across the street is uh, Bobby Orr's childhood uh, childhood home. Yeah. No way. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I don't know the folks too well that live there now, but uh, I'm just looking at it out the window. But there's it's uh, kind of built out of uh, – what looks to be like garage door. So there's a common joke that uh, Bobby's dad was a garage door salesman. <laughs> I love it. Okay. We don't have to talk about your geography the whole night about where you're. Yeah. <laughs> where, where, it's, it, it's an important part, right? Well, it, it is. And we talked to, we had clear Lake on last week and they're from cottage country as well. Um, and, and I said last week, I said, it just seems to go hand in hand, like a good beer at a cottage on the water. And you've got that all going for you there at, uh, at Trestle. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's uh, it's yeah, nice hot sunny day. Nothing better than a cold beer on the patio, right? For sure, for sure. So how how are things going? How many beers are you, are you pouring? How many are you shipping out? What what's going on at Trestle? Yeah, so we have uh, we have two products that we sell to uh, LCBO and grocery stores. So we've got uh, the one that you guys have there, the Thirty Thousand Islands IPA, that blue can, um, and we also have another flagship. It's uh, Golden Ale. It's like a Pilsner style beer. Uh, comes in a comes in a yellow can, and uh, we got recent news that we can we're, we've got a fall seasonal, so we've got a cranberry raspberry sour beer that we're gonna ship out, wow. to, um, yeah, in September to to a bunch of LCBOs, um, and then otherwise, you know, we're just uh, rotating through stuff uh, um, in the tap room. We're we're trying to come up with new stuff. There's always a it's always a balance, and I don't know if you've heard this from other people, but it's always a balance of trying to come up with with new products and, and, and sell new products and then continue with, you know, uh, the same old stuff. I say same old, but the same stuff, right. That, uh, people are looking for and they've connected with. For sure. That's definitely a, that's definitely a tough thing, right? You want, you want people to come back and try new things, but mm -hmm. you want to have your staples there as well. I just see online, you have like a peach saison right now. Can you tell us a little yeah. bit about that one? That sounds delicious. Yeah. Yeah. So we do, uh, every summer we do a summer saison. So it's a low alcohol, like um, like Belgian style, uh, Belgian style saison, and um, we did it this summer already. And then we we the, our two brewers did a did a batch, a little homebrew batch with peaches, and it was like, yeah, it was it was excellent, <laughs> easy easy. Let's do it. Let's do a let's do a batch with peaches, and it's just been flying. I mean, it's peach season too, right? So yeah, helped. you can't go wrong this time of year throwing peaches in in it. I yeah. love that. That's yeah. good stuff. Yeah, for sure. And then uh, another one that's excellent that we just uh, just released recently was um, yeah, we call it it uh, micro IPA, so a low alcohol IPA. And uh, I mean, reasonably slow, uh, reasonably so is there's been a little bit of a push towards uh, lower alcohol beers, 
Yeah. Um, and same same idea, right? Our brewer did a little uh, homebrew bash, brought it in for everyone. It was just a huge hit. So we uh, ended up doing it here, three and a half percent. You can, you know, have a couple and not. <coughs> yeah. It's, uh, which is nice, right? It's a Tuesday night beer. It's called a Tuesday night beer. Is yeah. that we, yeah. we need to focus on those, Cloudy, in the future. We'll get some just, <laughs> just light session bears from every brewery and Tuesday we'll this podcast. It's good stuff. <laughs> What's that, Matt? Sorry. A Tuesday lunch beer, Marley. <laughs> <laughs> and then we should do a Thursday show where we drink just ten and a halves. There you go. Yeah, we'll, we'll pull out this bad boy. This is the Thursday, <laughs> Thursday show. That's good stuff. I'm excited for that one. You guys take Fridays off or what? Well, the world is our oyster, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> the world is our oyster. Um, so you are delivering across Ontario right now. So, so, and obviously we, we've got people that are watching or listening that are heading up to uh, cottage country and maybe near Perry. So let's hop into Trestle, but you do deliver all over, uh, all over Ontario, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So we offer um, $10 flat rate of shipping across, uh, across Ontario. See our website popping up there, but yeah, you can go onto our website. We've got a online store in there and, um, yeah, whether you live in Kenora, Ottawa, or Windsor, it's ten dollars spot rate. Right? But and, and I'm wondering because and, and we've tied breweries on during this 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 pandemic, and I, I've never seen to ask how is that going? Have you seen an increase on the deliveries since the pandemic? Is it the yeah. same year to year? What's 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 that like? Yeah, yeah, we saw a huge uh, huge uptick in online orders, which was great. Like it was it was awesome to have the support from from uh, you know. Uh, from customers um, across the province that would typically be a, would have been coming up here right during that time. Um, now, since since the restaurant's been open and, and our canned beer has kind of diminished a little bit, we don't have as much in stock on a continual basis. Um, it's gone down a little bit, but we still definitely get our fair share uh, of online orders on a week to week basis more than more than last year. So. Obviously, up there in, in beautiful cottage country, Perry Sound is beautiful, and you get a lot of tourists that come in during the the summer. But Perry Sound itself, in the dead of winter and January, February, like they need to be there for you. What's the reception been like for for the hometown brewery? Yeah, it's been great. Uh, we uh, we get the comment. The common question is like, "Hey, like, do you guys are you guys open all year long?" Um, <laughs> and we are. Is is the answer? Um, <laughs> you know, like I said, it's. Uh, like our, our population goes up at least tenfold in the summertime, if not if not more than that. Um, so in the winter, you know things certainly do slow down. Uh, but we've had a we've had a lot of support from locals, which which has been great. Uh, we have to do you know a fair bit of, of programming. We do some some specialty nights and some specialty events to to pull people in um, in the winter time. But um, yeah, we we've been fortunate with the amount of support that we've had from from locals. It's been good. Th those questions are from some of the big city people who think Perry Sound closes up at the end of September. Yeah, yeah. You start to get in May. <laughs> yeah, you know, and it pretty much does, to be honest with you. But yeah, <laughs> yeah still, you know, there's still people that live here full year, all year. Wow. Long. <laughs> Never would have thunk it. Never would have yeah, thunk it. Crazy. <laughs> you were telling us that um, you, you've got some openings right now, some job openings for some brewers and some some salespeople. And we're seeing the the brewery industry. And we've talked about this and and, and how it's becoming such a major industry across Canada. Yeah. You have openings now for people that may be looking to get into the business. So what, what do they need to do? How do they get a hold of Trestle? Yeah, so we've got a couple uh, job postings again on our website. Um, we're looking for, for some brewers and we're looking for uh, another salesperson to add to our sales team. Um, the brewers, our, our head brewer is uh, Matt Lyons, who attended uh, Niagara College. Nice. Uh, I think he was like a second, the second year of the program. Um, he was the second graduate. Um, and uh, he's got about 10 years experience now in the in the industry. And um, we know that the brewers that have worked here in the past have been have been grateful for the experience to work under him. So, yeah, really, we're just looking for, for, for some brewers and head to our website and uh, go on and apply. Cool stuff, Matt. Did you have anything else you want to make sure we mention here? We're gonna wrap up. You're finishing your H two O. You got to get back to work here, buddy. Yeah, oh yeah, they, they're, they're following me down there. No, I mean it's been great, guys. Thanks for having me on. I'm I'm glad that uh, I'm happy that you guys are, are uh, supporting local craft beer. And it sounds like you guys are doing a great job on the podcast. And um, I guess keep it up. Uh, maybe get another. Another Ron McLean on. That'll be awesome. <laughs> We're working on it. We, maybe you can go across the street and see if Bobby Orr's uh, 
old landlords there want to come on or maybe we can <laughs> yeah. well, add them on. It's all good. No, this is good <laughs> yeah, stuff. I've, uh, I've tasted both of these and uh, uh, they're, they're delightful. The, the hazy pale ale is, is, is so good. It's, yeah. it's got all like that hops flavor, but not that bitter finish that I think that people are afraid of all the time. And you mentioned hops, the people that aren't, you know, familiar with craft beer, like th this is where you should get started in, in something like this. That doesn't have that, that crazy uh, bitter finish and just has a delicious uh, fruitiness to it. it. It's delightful. Uh, I will definitely be ordering uh, some more when they come online again. <laughs> well, thanks man. I appreciate it. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely, you know, you get the wrong, uh, get the wrong person drinking uh, a, an intense West coast IPA uh, right. for the first time and they've never had craft beer before, then they associate that with the rest of craft, right? So for sure. there's a lot out there, and there's a lot that uh, people can try, as you know. Yeah, keep trying it, for sure. Exactly. Good stuff. Matt, we appreciate it. Get it online to trestlebrewing.com. Let me get that website again there. Make sure I get it right. Trestlebrewing.com. Get online and get your uh, get your beer ordered and tell them that the three beer pod sent you. Matt, we appreciate it, buddy. Thanks a lot for, uh, for joining us here tonight. I know you're working and trying to take care of the shop tonight, but uh, thanks for jumping on. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Matt. Take care, Here's everybody. Paul from the Trestle Brewery in uh, Perry Sound, Ontario. If you are ever up that way, Timmer, it's it's a bit of a hike, right? Like, we're not going to go overnight and head up to Trestle by any means. But if you're up that way, it's right well, off the 400. That, it's part of that gateway, though, that way, right? Oh, like, yeah. When I, last time I was through there, uh, it wasn't open yet. But uh, I would definitely pass through on the way up there because uh, there's some definitely some good beers getting pumped yeah. out of Trestle. Highly recommend ordering from them. Uh, I'm sure once things slow down, they'll get a few more things online. And, uh, you know, that micro IPA sounds really good, too. Just a nice, light drinking beer. It's a, it's a cool little spot. And if you go across the bay from where they are, uh, where they're located, um, it, 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 first of all, it's so, so beautiful through that area. But there's the Bobby Orr Museum is oh, cool. across, across the bay around the corner. And the Bobby Orr Museum <clears throat> is managed let me see if i get that right managed by a young woman from chatham kent really yeah small world Crazy eh? connections these days eh? you come up small world. All the time. That's yeah. stuff. thanks a lot to uh matt over at uh, trestle for chatting with us here tonight I, I love getting to know these these uh these breweries sure. that you may not have uh, recognized but uh, that's the thing i had one of those trestle um What's the, what's the light they had the uh, you had the gold nail didn't you gold, no? the gold nail and and I've had it many times without putting two and two together and it's yeah. very sound and so now getting the whole background on it but yeah I'm just finish up that hazy pale ale timer that's good stuff it's delicious it's delicious for sure yeah uh, before we uh, move on Cloudy I wanted to give everyone a uh, thank you for the uh, big birthday wishes this yeah, past, yes. uh, past weekend uh, I turned the big four zero. And uh, definitely wasn't what we thought would look like for a big 4-0 for the whole timber, but uh, had a uh, we had a great time and uh, yeah. talked to lots of people. Had a couple of people stop by. It was it was still pretty awesome. I did a scavenger hunt uh, in my yard for forty beers, and uh, pretty awesome, pretty awesome results out of that. So I'd like to thank my beautiful wife Shauna for the uh, big 4-0 birthday beer. Scavenger hunt. My fridge could not be any fuller coming into a time where it might be time for the old Timmer to go back to work. And my uh, my fridge is full right now. So might need some people to stop by and uh, celebrate post 40. Uh, they have lots of beer. So again, appreciate the shout out from the three beer podcast and everyone that liked and commented on that. That was, that was pretty cool. So appreciate that cloudy. First time we brought our children to a Timmer birthday party, but uh, it was a good time. It yeah, was good. good good steaks, man. That was good stuff oh, was yesterday. That was good, Timber. All right, let's get to the beer buzz. We have uh, a couple things to talk about, Timber. You wanted to start here because you made a little road trip uh, leading into your birthday weekend. I did, yeah. So we traveled up to uh, Sarnia Refined Full. We had them on a few weeks ago, episode seven, I think. Um, great guys in Refined Full. And on the episode, they talked about them opening up a new sports bar, sports bar called – Sports yep. and uh, sports is now open on their London Road uh, spot. And uh, I was there on Friday, but I didn't go to sports. I just grabbed some beer to uh, to to take home. And now I don't have any of that beer. And uh, we're <laughs> gonna have to take another ride up. Might have to go check out 
sports, but it sounds like they've got everything. A they got food. Uh, they got a plethora of on-site games, including bocce ball, cornhole, darts, pool, foosball, shuffleboard, and more. All free to play. Big TVs. This sounds like a amazing spot. That, this sounds like something that should be everywhere. So I'm excited to yeah. get sports. Uh, they said they're following COVID rules, obviously, and uh, first 50 people, uh, first come, first serve. So if you can get up there, check out Refined Fool Sports. Seems like an awesome place that we'll have to go sometime for sure. We, we talk about the Trestle, beautiful Perry Sound. Like that's not a, a quick day trip. But Refined Fool, if you are looking to get away for – a couple hours yeah. and check something out. They're doing it awesome. They're doing awesome up there, up in Sarnia. So if you're yeah, down, I got a boatload of beer when I was there. It was it was good. I felt like I got a boatload of beer, and now I don't have any after this past weekend. But that's all good. It's good Tim, stuff. Timura, I've got a uh, video daily double for the beer buzz here today. Oh, there so we go. Video daily double. So what's going on down in California right now is that they're they've got these wildfires right now, and they're just tearing through through the area, and just causing like horrible horrible destruction throughout uh, throughout parts of california um this guy right here though i'm just gonna play the news story okay uh it's about a minute and a half this guy here is the new hero of the three beer pod it was crazy because of the propane tanks everybody's on propane tanks and it was just like a war zone boom boom fires just uh, it was the land surrounding chad little's home is charred i saw the fire coming from across it, oh, down Mix Canyon, and you could see it over on the ridge line that way. As his family packed up, Little made up his mind. He wasn't leaving. He was staying and protecting the family home. They'd already lost it once, five years ago, in an attic fire. The rebuild is set to finish this year. <laughs> this, is, this happens, and I'm like, no, I can't. I can't let it go. Little has hoses around the property. He thought he was covered. He wasn't prepared for the water to be turned off. He grabbed a rake and started clearing dry grass. I was, I was putting out fires all the way around here, stopping it from going towards the house. Meanwhile, all the cars were on fire and, and then it traveled to here and I was like, oh. His cars were torched and his shop was going up quickly. It was burning here comes. The, the wood down low and I didn't have any water. I had one barrel with like a little bit of water in it, and I tried using that. It didn't work. He grabbed the only liquid he had left, cans of Bud Light. When I ripped up the sheet metal, it had a nail, so I was just shaking it up, popping it, and just spraying it. <laughs> and grabbing another one. And my buddies always tease me about, uh, you know, drinking water, beer, and I say, hey, save mine, my shop. <laughs> And Chad tells me he was able that's to put amazing. up his flames at his shop just as far. Oh, we're good. We're good. That's amazing. Chad. So Bud Light has a purpose, and it's a, to put out fires. Did you imagine? I, like, I like when he was just leaned back. He's like. <laughs> um. <laughs> so he just poked the nail, nail hole. Boom. Put it out. Yeah, it's amazing. I, I'm just I'm thinking that wasn't that big of a fire. Like, do you think he's just taking advantage of of some publicity oh, right now? Look, looked like he crushed the whole thirty pack putting that thing out. So he, he might have used two beers in the fire and pounded twenty eight. Wow, that's true. He didn't say how many he threw. That is an acceptable <laughs> use for Bud Light. Bud Light. I agree. Or he sent his wife and children away. Pack your things. Get out. I'll stay here with the homestead. And then she called him on it. Honey, you, 30 beers? You cracked 30 <laughs> beers? He's like, That's how I put it out. You won't believe it. You won't believe it. Fire was coming. I shook that thing up. What was his name? Let's get him on. Chad. We need, Chad. We need to get, oh, obviously, we got to get Chad on. Chad. That's amazing. We can get Chad on. Chad. KCRA. Thanks to uh, thanks them for that, uh, that video. But That's amazing. That's it. Right no there. fires with Bud Light. Corey's right. Acceptable use for Bud Light. There you go. Hundred <laughs> percent. Telling you, Chad. Chad's the man. I love it. Right now, now, like if he just goes and gets beer, he can write that off uh, uh, for insurance reasons. Fire safety. Fire safety. So Fire. in in my when I'm finishing off my garage, I'll just make a box. Yeah. Shove a thirty pack. 
a Bud Light in there and like with a glass thing on. It's like smash, smash, smash in case of emergency, and you start chucking Bud Lights at the fire. Yeah, but you gotta gotta have a nail. See, oh yeah. Open. So box nail on the side. Boom. <laughs> I like it. I love it. It, it was probably him and four fighting fires all the time with Bud Light now. Him and four dudes probably crushing beers and a spark lit beside him, and he. Yeah. Now he's now he's got this story about how he saved his entire property. Somebody's heater fell off their uh, the smoke, and uh, he put it out with a Bud Light, crushed the other thirty pack, and everything's good. I love him. I think we should have him on. He seems like a good dude. Chad is a uh, he is a honorary member. Of the three we should party. have a beer beer buzz hall of fame. Beer there you buzz. go. Write it down. Chad, Chad's in the beer buzz hall of fame, and we'll put him in there. We'll have to. Hmm. He is the first honoree. Love it. No, there now. There you go. Beer buzz. Beer buzz hall of fame. That's there money. Go. We're gonna awesome. use that for sure. Timur, I think we should end on that note right there. I don't think we should drag her anymore. That was a good beer buzz today. That was a solid beer buzz. Uh, I just wanted to mention one last thing, though. Yeah, go ahead, the, buddy. Uh, the Mark Hebsher book. Yes. So we had uh, Hebsey on episode yep. six, six. Maybe. Season two, episode six. Mark Hebsher was on, uh, and he was an awesome guest, and he talked about his uh, book that he wrote, The Greatest Athlete You've Never Heard Of. Yep. And um, I am not a big book reader, but I downloaded the audio book, the uh, little Audible, signed up, got some Audible, and I listened to the book, and it's awesome. So it tells the story of the first Canadian Olympian named George Orton that um, actually wasn't until 1970 that they recognized him as Canadian. Apparently back then you just went to the Olympics and just showed up. You might represent your college or uh, athletic, athletic club. club. Yep. Sounds like a lot of people were athletic back then from reading the – like people participated in athletics. No, well, not much like, has running, running and throwing things, like like those types of things, like that we participate in on occasion. It, back then, Chad would have been a gold medalist at something, For I'm sure. sure. Chad would have found something, 100%. Yeah, so George true. Orton basically dominated everything. So uh, if you're looking for a good uh, sports history, a little bit of everything in that book, uh, I highly recommend checking out uh, Hebsey's book, uh, The Greatest Athlete You've Never Heard Of. Uh, I'm glad I did because uh, I learned a lot about uh, Canadian history, athletic history. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. So Hebsey's book was awesome. Well, who knew you would learn anything on the I know. Podcast? That's, I didn't see it coming, but it's, it's felt, it felt good. It felt sometimes good. when they sneak up on you, those are the best lessons. Those are the best lessons. 100%. A hey, big thank you to Matt over at uh, Trestle Brewery in uh, Perry Sound. Trestlebrewing.com is the website. You can go online and uh, order your beers right now. $10 flat rate across Ontario. I'm telling you, try it. And when you do, let them know that you saw Matt and uh, and heard about it on the Three Beer Pod. Thanks to Trestle. And if you ever get the chance to get up there, do that. Of course, Doug Robbins at With This Ring. Doug the Efficient. Uh, you can track him down right there. Doug is an awesome dude. Thanks for sponsoring. Certainly will make your ceremony unboring and a uh, different options too so it's not like a cookie cutter thing you don't just just get what everybody gets if you've got something specific doug will certainly take care of you thanks to shauna of course the uh, fashion mask she provided that for uh, for the three beer pod and if you ever need to get a hold of me for buying or selling a home there's a case of beer on the other end for you with uh, with myself i love that you've upped it to a case of beer i'm gonna keep pushing this like it's like I, you won't know where we're going next with this we're gonna keep jacking this up you will know how well I am doing in the market by what I, if if I'm like you will get a flight <laughs> that means I'm struggling okay and you <laughs> will get a share half a beer with me <laughs> that I drop off at your new home or it, yep keg fridge that's that, where we're heading bud we're heading that way at some that's point great. at some point well thanks for tuning in to the uh, three beer pod for Tim I'm Chris and Chad Cheers. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Timmer. See you, Cloudy.